Hey YouTube, um, I wanted to do a fly tying video. This is my first fishing video. And the first thing I want to do, I wanted to thank Zach the Fisherman for all the help he gave me on information on fly rods and nymphs and just different type of flies. Because he really helped me getting into fly fishing because his videos, I thought they were pretty neat. And I was like, wow, I want to do that. So I got into fly fishing because of him and recently I came across a fly tying kit for my birthday so I wanted to show you a fly that I've been making a lot of and it catches a lot of fish I'm serious like um this one time I was fishing out with my dad in a lake up north and one fly caught me at least 35 fish it, it's crazy and it's very simple to make and it's pretty cheap too. This is the fly. It is. It's kind of kind of mimics a leech in the water. I have five pieces of where to go neck hackle right here. These are the neck. This is the neck hackle, and then I have about a two inch piece of copper wire. In the front right here and then I wrap it around and then that sinks it slowly and the fish just hammer it so I'm gonna show you how to make this so I'm gonna get started first you need black thread and you're gonna want to start from the eyelet and just wrap a good portion around first and then just slowly wrap down to the barb then after you reach the end of the hook just do a quick wrap back to the eyelet Take your scissors and cut off the excess thread and start taking your hackle, black hackle, and putting it on, just putting put it on different spots on the hook so it kind of looks like tentacles or something or little fins. I don't know what it looks like underwater but I catch fish with it so. And then you're gonna you're gonna want to wrap it first here at the front, and then once on the back, and then you're gonna go back to the eyelet, and just repeat, repeat that over and over again, until you get all the pieces of hackle on there. I just have one more piece of hackle here. It's a pretty tiny one. Oh yeah, when you grab your hackle, you're gonna want to grab various sizes just to make it look patterned and not all the same length, so it looks natural in the water. And then okay. You're going to want to take your copper wire from the eyelet, wrap tightly towards the back of your hook, and then once you finish that part, you're going to want to cover the copper back up, just to make it look more like a leech.
you don't have to cover all of the copper but it's good if you do just to make it look more like a leech but if you want, don't want to take time to wrap all this thread on this copper it's fine because it's still going to catch fish but yeah I'm just pushing this up closer to the back. Now you're going to wrap the middle portion right here of the fly until it looks nice and smooth and doesn't have any um, fluff from the f hackle sticking out. until you're about halfway down the hook and then you're just going to go back and forth and back and forth until you think it's about good and then you're going to want to pull about say seven eight inches of thread out cut it off from the spool and all you got to do is wrap around your thing finger three times go under and then pull up and pull up sometimes it doesn't tie a knot but most of the time it does but if it doesn't, just go back through. It's not that hard. And tie it again. Okay, there it hooked on. And you're going to want to just t make sure it's nice and tight. Because it kind of digs into the thread. And it this it's never come undone. So not really a knot it's more just cutting into the fly and then you're gonna want to you're gonna want to do this two or three times I usually do two but if I'm making a really nice fly I don't want it to come undone I just do it three times then you cut that off then you take your glue I've used a bunch of it already. You take a toothpick, dip it down in your glue, get a little drop, and then just kind of spread it all over where that knot is and let it dry. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, comment down below. Tell me how I did. Tell me if I need to do something different. And I hope to be making new videos soon. Thanks.